गुड इवनिंग एवरी बडी इन टूडेज लेक्चर लेटस ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दी स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग लेटस ट्राई टू लर्न सम बेसिक थिंग्स अबाउट स्कॉर्पियन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव सीन स्कॉर्पियन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एक्सपीरियंस्ड स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग स्कॉर्पियन बाइट नहीं बोलना स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग बोलना बिकॉज स्कॉर्पियंस डोंट बाइट इन दीज एक्चुअली इन दीज सिक्स फिफ्टी टाइप्स ऑफ स्कॉर्पियंस देर आर सिक्स फैमिलीज मेजरली the color of scor scorpions differs few are very light color some of them are yellow some of them are light brown and some are very red in color india mein bahut red color wale bahut zyada dikhte in india we have red color scorpions scorpions are black also okay so depend on the color we can't say that these are poisonous and these are not poisonous color doesn't determine the toxicity okay scorpions are having with different colors few are yellow few are brown few are red few are black that based on the location and based on the uh, condition okay and one very very important point scorpions always they are active at night time that's why scorpions are called nocturnal animals scorpions are called nocturnal 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 means night they are active at night and always they seek uh cool places and moist places bahut sare scorpions what where they live they live in cool places moist places and in dark places dark areas dark areas mein patte ke niche patthar ke niche okay uh, in in those places and moist areas wherever moist is there uh, let us try to understand the anatomy of scorpion because this anatomy anatomical feature is important little bit see first important point about scorpion first thing scorpion has three parts number 1 the green color part you, green color part is visible to you i think so this one is first part which is called cephalothorax here it is already written it is called cephalothorax cephalothorax is the mixed part it is fused with head and thorax or head and neck head and neck of the scorpion is fused it is mixed and it is called cephalothorax i think in your intermediate level and 12 you might have studied about different nematodes and different types of scorpions and their anatomical features this is first part second part is it is having abdomen so this part is abdomen from here to here second part is abdomen and the third part is tail tail has six segments yaad rakh lo every scorpion has six segments this is segment 1 which is also called m1 M two, M three, M four, M five, and M six. So each scorpion will have six segments, and the sixth segment, sixth segment is little bit bulged. It is called bulbular or bulb type. ये थोड़ा क्या होता bulged रहता. It is bulged part. Bulged part or the sixth segment is called telson, which is containing venom. The sixth segment of the tail is containing venom. It is bulbular part, and it is also having one needle type. apparatus which is called stinger it is having stinger stinger means with the help of this stinger it will sting the prey it will sting the prey prey means prey means the insects whatever it eats jo bhi unke prey honge na that prey is stinged by this stinger which is also called aculeus okay so scorpion is having three parts one is uh, cephalothorax which is mixed with head and neck second part is abdomen third part is tail which is having six segments the sixth segment is uh, bulbular which is containing a stinger which is also called telson so these are the three parts of the scorpion and scorpion has two claws claws is very important this 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 part is called claw it has two claws which is also called pedipalps it has two pedipalps okay this pedipalp has great significance in scorpion why you know ek cheez yaad rakh lo sab log see a scorpion which has a scorpion which has very big very 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 big claws very big and strong claws very big and strong claws are are having very less toxic they are very less toxic ek cheez yaad rakh lo the claws if if the scorpion has very strong and big and large claws they are less toxic and if the scorpion has very tender tender means thin tender chote if it has tender claws they are they are very toxic very toxic 
so by seeing the size of the claws we can determine that this scorpion is poisonous or not understood everybody so one basic rule ek cheez yaad rakh lo first basic rule what i told the scorpions which has strong claws the scorpions which has strong claws will not they are not toxic and the scorpions with very tender claws are very toxic clear this is first basic rule second rule scorpions will never bite yaad rakh lo scorpions never bite but what they do what scorpions does scorpions scorpions will sting scorpion stings scorpion will sting with the help of stinger ye cheez yaad rakh lo just now we have seen what is stinger and with the help of stinger it will try to sting and when stinger stings the animal or prey or human beings what happens the venom which is present in the uh, bulbular part what it it will inject the venom into the tissue of the prey or animals or whatever okay so this is the second rule first rule kya hai strong claws wale they are not poisonous they are not they are poisonous but they are not that toxic tender claws wale they are very toxic i will tell you the clinical features in that you will understand and second basic rule is scorpions never bite but what they do they will sting bite karne ke liye kuch organ nahi hai uske paas scorpions don't have any apparatus to bite like uh, snake bite or like we have some other uh, animals for biting purpose it, it has no apparatus but it has stinger to sting क्लियर अब देखो नो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ये सब बेसिक चीजें हैं नाउ आई गो टू दी क्लिनिकल पॉइंट बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दी क्लिनिकल फीचर्स क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ द पेशेंट लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट केमिकल कंपाउंड्स दी विनम विल हैव विनम के अंदर क्या क्या है वाई विनोम इज टॉक्सिक ध्यान से सुनो सब लोग सी विनोम ऑफ दी स्कॉर्पियन विल कंटेन सम एंजाइम्स और टॉक्सिन सम एंजाइम्स एंड टॉक्सिन इन दैट नंबर वन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट the toxin the venom of scorpion will contain phospholipase 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 a number 2 venom of scorpion also contains acetylcholinesterase in previous classes we discussed about this enzyme acetylcholinesterase acetylcholinesterase is the enzyme which will metabolize acetylcholine and decrease the acetylcholine actions okay and number 3 in venom of scorpion it contains serotonin 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 ke bare mein in next class i'll tell you and next it contains some neurotoxins neurotoxin neurotoxins these toxins will try to cause destruction of some neurons and by that it causes neuropathy okay and another very important point it also contains hyaluronidase hyaluronidase it contains hyaluro hyaluronidase enzyme this is also very important so all these are proteolytic enzymes they are uh tissue degrading enzymes and they causes neuropathy uh myopathy and also they causes uh bleeding disorder okay anyways ab dekho first first enzyme first enzyme is phospholipase what phospholipase does you know phospholipase will try to degrade phospholipase will degrade phospholipase will degrade the phospholipids all the tissues are made up of cells and all the cells are covered by cell membrane and the cell membrane is made up of phospholipids phospholipid bilayer ke bare mein i think you might have studied okay all these cells are made up of phospholipids and phospholipase a2 what it does phospholipase will try to break down the cell membrane agar cell membrane break down ho gaya to kya hoga all cell cell organelles and cytoplasm everything will will be exposed out and it will cause cytotoxic activity i mean uh, cell cell necrotic toxic uh, cell necrotic um, uh, action so it will degrade the cell simple it will degrade the degrade the cells कौन फास्फोलाइपेज एंड इन दैट स्पेशली फास्फोलाइपेज ए टू इज दी फास्फोलाइपेज एंजाइम विच विल स्पेशली डिग्रेड दी फास्फोलिपिड्स विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड फास्फोलाइपेज ए टाइप ऑफ अदर एंजाइम्स विल डिग्रेड वेरी एवर फास्फोलिपिड्स आर अवेलेबल एंड दिस फास्फोलाइपेज एंजाइम इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग इंफ्लमेटरी कंडीशन इंफ्लमेटरी कंडीशन इफ एनीबडी हैज इंजूर इंजुरी ओके किसी को इंजुरी हुआ और वाउंड्स आर देयर इन दैट कंडीशन वट हैपन सम सेल्स विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड so in that cases because of these phospholipids only all the destroyed cells will be excreted by metabolism okay so phospholipase a2 is important only in injury conditions not in normal patients so normal patient mein agar scorpion sting hua to kya hoga it may damage the cell membranes this is one important point you have to remember and you already know what is acetylcholinesterase enzyme acetylcholinesterase enzyme will try to break down the acetylcholine and when acetylcholine breaks what happens 
simply adrenaline action will increase in the body or acetylcholine action will decrease in the body simple but this is not predominant action the venom is having this acetylcholine stress enzyme but this enzyme is not having predominant action why i'll tell you and it also has serotonin serotonin will increase in the body and serotonin actions can be seen in the patient and neurotoxins will destroy the nerves and hyaluronidase enzyme will cause hyaluronic acid degradation all these things we can see in the patient so these are some basic uh, uh, enzymes and uh, toxins which are present in venom of scorpion sting scorpion sting ke venom ke andar ye sab cheeze rehte clear now you see one more point i want to add here see despite of this all venoms some venoms will contain or they will uh, they will cause ek cheez yaad rakh lo some venoms will cause i am writing here at the, at the bottom some venoms will cause pulmonary edema not it is not pulmonary embolism pulmonary edema yaad rakh lo sab log the venom of scorpions will cause very very predominant clinical presentation it will cause pulmonary edema and along with this it also causes it also causes hemorrhage hemorrhage in the brain it causes hemorrhage in the brain very very important and complicated point okay so it causes hemorrhage in the brain and it causes edema in the pulmonary tissue or in the lungs okay you you have to remember these two important points clear everybody clear this point everybody here see now let us try to understand the mechanism of action of venom of scorpion scorpion venom ka mechanism kya hai actually just now we have seen the contents contents in venom venom ke andar jo contents hai that we have seen but actually what is the action of venom of scorpion sting scorpion sting venom ka action kya hai this is very very important याद रख लो सब लोग फर्स्ट मेकैनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग इट विल इंक्रीज द डिपोलराइजेशन ऑफ डिपोलराइजेशन डिपोलराइजेशन ऑफ सिंपैथेटिक एंड पैरासिंपैथेटिक नर्व्स सिंपैथेटिक नर्व्स एंड पैरासिंपैथेटिक नर्व्स नाउ यू शुड टेल मी दोज आर फॉलोइंग माई क्लासेस यू शुड टेल मी वॉट हैपन्स इफ सिंपैथेटिक एंड पैरासिंपैथेटिक नर्व्स आर डिपोलराइज वाट विल हैपन यस if sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves are depolarized what will happen anybody from just imagine this is presynaptic nerve this is postsynaptic nerve of both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve these sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves will be having some sodium calcium potassium especially sodium channels sodium channels when sodium enters inside when sodium especially when positive ion enters inside what happens it will be depolarized presynaptic nerve will be depolarized when presynaptic nerve depolarizes what happens the adrenergic nerve or non adrenergic nerve whatever they whatever nerve is depolarized it will release their neurotransmitters no if parasympathetic nerve is depolarized it will release acetylcholine and if sympathetic nerve is depolarized it will release noradrenaline so when sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves are depolarized it will increase both acetylcholine and noradrenaline yaad rakh lo acetylcholine and noradrenaline both the neurotransmitter concentrations will be released will be increased in the body and it will cause both the actions both the actions ab you should not ask me what are the actions of acetylcholine on different muscarinic and nicotinic receptors actions of noradrenaline on different alpha and beta receptors all these things we have discussed in previous classes so ek cheez yaad rakh lo mechanism of action of venom of scorpion sting what it does it will cause it will cause depolarization of both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves and it will increase the release of acetylcholine and noradrenaline clear first mechanism understood everybody first mechanism now second mechanism i'll i'll try to explain you see dhyan se suno sab log it will cause hyperkalemia it will cause increased glucose or hyperglycemia 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 why it causes hyperglycemia because it will decrease the release of insulin it will decrease the release of insulin and by that it causes hyperglycemia and it it causes increased level of renin very very important point it increases renin release and along with this it also increases the release of aldosterone aldosterone okay 
So these are the two mechanisms. First one, it increases the acetylcholine and noradrenergic actions by depolarization of parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves. This point is clear. Second mechanism, what it does, it causes hyperkalemia, it causes hyperglycemia, it increases renin production and also it causes hyperaldosteronemia. I mean it will increase the aldosterone levels in the body. Now you see, if potassium level is increased in the body, patient will have serious arrhythmia, very very important point. And if patient has hyperglycemia, hyperglycemia mein toh, you all know what happens. Okay, This is not emergency but hyperglycemia should be treated. And if patient's renin is increased, it will further cause hypertension. Scorpion bite ke andar kya rega? Patient will have sugar, elevated sugar and patient also will have hypertension. Very, very important clinical presentation. And patient will have increased aldosterone. When aldosterone level is increased, it will increase the water retention. Jo water kidney mein hai, all the sodium, sodium and water both are absorbed back they will be absorbed back and what it, it does it will cause edema it will cause edema or urinary retention aldosterone will increase the reabsorption of sodium and water back into the body and through that also it causes edema and hypertension again okay hypertension and hyperglycemia these both are very very important clinical presentations in scorpion sting clear everybody samajh mein aaya sabko Mechanism ke andar kuch bhi nahi hai. First mechanism of scorpion sting is it depolarizes the parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves and it causes the elevated actions of acetylcholine and noradrenaline. And second one it causes hyperkalemia, hyperglycemia, hypertension through increasing renin and it also causes hypertension through increased levels of aldosterone by increasing the sodium and water from the kidneys. Clear? Clear everybody? Now let us try to see the clinical presentations of scorpion sting. Agar scorpion sting kisi ko hua, to clinical presentations, clinical features kya honge? What will be the signs and symptoms? Say in signs and symptoms we have two. One is local signs and symptoms and second we have systemic signs and symptoms. Local, ek, jahan pe bhi sting hoga na, at the site of sting, patient will have local pain, redness, rashes, it will cause lymphadenopathy, very very important point, it will cause lymphadenopathy, lymph glands jo hai, lymph glands, lymph adenopathy, adenopathy, lymph glands will be inflamed and it will cause severe lymph gland pain, okay, lymphadenopathy is very very important clinical presentation in scorpion sting, lymph glands jo bhi hai, lymph tissues, that will be inflamed, important point. This is special clinical presentation. Our pain, redness, rashes, yeto, har koi scorpion sting, har koi biting mein raega. That is common. But lymphadenopathy is very common with scorpion sting. Okay. And sometimes patient also will have allergic reactions at the site of, at the site of sting. Allergic reactions, agar jada ho gaya to what happens? It will cause anaphylactic reactions also. Anaphylactic reactions. Anaphylactic reaction means dilation of blood vessels when histamines are released in the body. And with that what happens? Patient will have severe hypotension. Actually, this anaphylactic shock is very rarely seen. Why? Why anaphylactic shock is very rarely seen in scorpion sting? Because in the body, already patient will have patient is having elevated actions of adrenaline, elevated actions of renin, and patient is already having hypertension. Hypertension already jada hai. So, anaphylactic shock hone ke chances bahut kam hai. So, these are local signs and symptoms of scorpion sting. These all these points we already know. Now you see systemic signs and symptoms of scorpion sting the, here we have to focus systemic clinical features of scorpion sting see we will come from the top first on the face on the face we have eyes by seeing the eyes or by examining the eyes we can say that patient may be having scorpion sting on the eyes patient will have dual action but predominantly patient will have midriasis ek cheez yaad rakh lo sab log I told one mechanism, see when scorpion stings, both parasympathetic and sympathetic, both the nervous system will be activated. I mean, acetylcholine release hoga or adrenaline release hoga, right? Both acetylcholine and adrenaline will be released. But predominant action is shown in the body by adrenaline only. Noradrenaline ke actions predominantly patient will be showing. Predominantly, noradrenaline ke actions dikhenge, okay? All noradrenergic actions, acetylcholine ke actions both kam dikhenge, kyun? 
Why acetylcholine actions will be decreased? We, we can't see acetylcholine actions rapidly. Why? Why we can see both both the actions can be seen, but predominantly not not actions will be seen. Can anyone tell me this point? Why acetylcholine actions are not predominant? Very excellent point. Due to the presence of acetylcholine stress enzyme in the venom, noradrenaline actions are predominantly seen. Okay. So on the ice, we can see midriasis. You know what is midriasis? The pupil size will be increased. And meiosis is pupil size will be decreased. Meiosis is seen in acetylcholine actions. And midriasis is seen in adrenaline actions. Okay. Adrenaline causes midriasis. This is first. And see, on the body, all over the body, patient will have sweating. Patient will have sweating. Patient will have excessive salivation. Salivation. See, salivation and sweating. See, sweating can be seen both in parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves. And salivation is particularly seen with parasympathetic. I say not that parasympathetic actions not seen, but it will be shown. But predominantly adrenergic. So, on the eyes, patient will have midriasis. On the skin, patient will have sweating all over the body, salivation on the face. Okay. And patient also has vomiting. See, this is what you Vomiting. Vomiting is possible. Vomiting are possible. Okay. And one more important point. Very, very important point. Very, very. Yadra close up look. Scorpion sting, particularly in males, particularly in males, it causes, it causes priapism. It causes priapism. Can anyone tell me what is priapism? Scorpion sting in males, it causes priapism. A very, very important point you should not forget. Yes, males particularly, it may show priapism. Okay, clear? This is very, very important point. And along with this, patient will have other symptoms also. Number one, uh, other symptoms let me try to add here. On the lungs. On the lungs, when scorpion stings on the lungs, just now I told on the lungs it causes pulmonary, pulmonary edema. Very very important point. And on the GA tract, on the GA tract it causes gastritis, gastritis. Why gastritis? Especially see gastritis is particularly seen due to the presence of phospholipase, phospholipase. Phospholipase A and due to the presence of or due to the excess secretion of acetylcholine. Excess secretion of acetylcholine, what it does? It will increase the gastrin hormones and it also increases the production of HCl in the GA tract. With these dual actions, one is HCl production and one is phospholipase A, it causes gastritis. In GA tract, it causes gastritis. Very, very important point. And on the lungs, it causes, on the lungs, it causes pulmonary edema. And sub say very, very important point and very, very dangerous point. Sab log dhyan se suno yaan pe. Very very dangerous point. And important point. On the brain it causes intracranial hemorrhage. Intracranial hemorrhage. Which is also called hemorrhagic stroke. Or it is also called cerebrovascular accident. Actually accident nahi bol sakte. But it is cerebrovascular hemorrhage. Intracranial hemorrhage. And through this. Through this it may cause paralysis paralysis and it may also develop seizures or convulsions cns may agar cns may agar see if patient has ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke both ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke will cause paralysis or convulsions in the body okay so on the central nervous system scorpion sting will cause intracranial hemorrhage very very dangerous important and emergency point okay these are important clinical features of scorpion sting or kya hai cvs mein cvs mein kya hoga in cardiovascular system it causes uh, both bradycardia is seen and tachycardia is seen tachycardia and bradycardia both are seen and predominantly it will have hypertension on cardiovascular system predominant action clinical feature will be hypertension and along with this hypertension patient also will have diabetes or hyperglycemia hyperglycemia hypertension hyperglycemia pulmonary edema gastritis and intracranial hemorrhage yaad rakh lo these are very very important clinical features of scorpion sting let me repeat the point pulmonary edema in the lungs hypertension tachycardia bradycardia in cardiovascular system gastritis in GA tract intracranial hemorrhage in the central nervous system okay so these are important 
clinical presentations of scorpion sting one important point one more point i have to add here when scorpion stings children and when scorpion stings adults ye dono mein se kis mein toxicity zyada dikhegi anybody in both in children in children and in adults which populations will show or who are very susceptible for scorpion sting yaad rakh lo children are more susceptible more susceptible with scorpion sting that means children will show more clinical presentations they are they can't they can't handle the toxin whereas adults can handle the toxin but adults mein ek cheez yaad rakh lo sab log very very important point in adults if anybody is already having cns disorders hypertension and diabetes agar kisi ko cns disorder hai like hemorrhagic stroke wagera kuch if patient is having hypertension or if anybody has diabetes agar if anybody has history of these three cns hypertension and diabetes is patient ko agar scorpion sting kar diya to maan lo patient is patient is at danger patient is at very danger so these are important clinical features of scorpion sting clear everybody this clinical features ye bahut important hai clinical features do you have doubt in clinical features anybody okay everybody are listening no no one is sleeping right hello abhi important hai treatment is very important now let us let us see the treatment of scorpion sting so based on the clinical presentations and based on mode of action of scorpion we know let us try to treat the patient first important point so so far what we have discussed based on that first thing most most scorpion stings doesn't require treatment why why most scorpions doesn't require treatment because in 24 hours to 48 hours this scorpion sting will be metabolized first point okay first point most scorpion stings are not needed with treatment see if uh, if patient has serious if patient has serious clinical features definitely we have to start treatment if patient has serious clinical presentations if we don't start treatment patient may die this risk is there very very important most of the scorpion stings treatment nahi de sakte but agar kisi ko serious hai we should start the treatment now serious means patient will have just now we have discussed all clinical features the pulmonary clinical features the cardiovascular permanent features uh, cardiovascular features gastrointestinal features midriasis or serious salivation serious lacrimation and priapism ye sab agar kisi patient mein hai to definitely we have to start with treatment and very 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 important point ek cheez yaad rakh lo scorpion sting se kyu marega patient number 1 we have two reasons number 1 due to scorpion sting patient will die because of because of intracranial hemorrhage number 2 patient will die because of pulmonary failure pulmonary failure pulmonary failure kyun hoga pulmonary failure kyun hoga pulmonary failure is possible with two reasons number 1 patient will have elevated acetylcholine okay and now this elevated acetylcholine what it does it will cause bronco bronchospasm okay bronchoconstriction and number 2 patient will have serious pulmonary edema serious pulmonary why pulmonary edema occurs you know pulmonary edema is occurred due to elevated levels of aldosterone Ele- elevated levels of aldosterone so because of elevated levels of aldosterone patient is develop- developing pulmonary edema agar patient ko pulmonary edema hai and if patient has bronchospasm patient will die so due to pulmonary failure number 1 patient will die or patient also may die due to intracranial hemorrhage so these two possibilities are there with this through this patient may die okay so because of this risk factors because of this risk we have to start treatment agar kisi ko ye sab symptoms hai to we have to start the treatment okay now in for treatment we have two strategies in treatment we have two strategies number 1 number 1 at the home strategy and number 2 hospital strategy i mean treatment which is given at home and treatment which is given at hospital agar kisi ko कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कंडीशन है क्लिनिकल फीचर्स है तो वी हैव टू रश दी पेशेंट टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड ट्रीटमेंट शुड बी गिवन इन हॉस्पिटल इफ पेशेंट इज नॉट हैविंग सीरियस क्लिनिकल फीचर्स वी कैन ट्रीट एट होम इट सेल्फ सो एट होम वॉट वी हैव टू डू सिंपल 
एट दी साइट ऑफ स्टिंग पेशेंट विल हैव सीवियर पेन पेशेंट विल हैव रैशेस पेशेंट विल हैव एडिमा पेशेंट विल हैव लिम्फोडिनोपैथी एंड पेशेंट ऑल दिस वी हैव जस्ट सीन सो टू रिलीव पेन एट द साइट ऑफ स्टिंग वी हैव टू अप्लाई आइस आइस पैक जस्ट वी शुड अप्लाई आइस आइस अप्लीकेशन इज द ओनली ट्रीटमेंट विच इज गिवेन एट होम इफ ओ टी सी ड्रग्स इफ ओ टी सी ड्रग्स लाइक पैरासीटामॉल इज अवेलेबल पैरासीटामॉल पी सी टी इज अवेलेबल वी कैन गो अदर दैन दिस अदर दैन दिस वी शुड नॉट डू एनीथिंग एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स एट द होम वाट दे डू दे विल अप्लाई टॉर्निक सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज हैंड एंड दिज आर फिंगर्स किसी एक फिंगर के पास यहाँ पे फॉर एग्जाम्पल एट दिस फिंगर लेट मी ड्रॉ द फिंगर दिस इज फिंगर एंड फिंगर हैज स्टिंग हियर समवेयर हियर एट द टिप ऑफ द फिंगर तो मोस्ट ऑफ द फैमिलीज वाट दे डू दे विल अप्लाई टॉर्निक मोस्ट ऑफ द फैमिलीज विल ट्राई टू अप्लाई टॉर्निक नेवर अप्लाई टॉर्निक एट ऑन द टिश्यूज वेयर पेशेंट हैड स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग ओके एट होम यू शुड नॉट अप्लाई टॉर्निकट टॉर्निकट अप्लाई नहीं करना दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू टू रिमेंबर बिकॉज इफ टॉर्निकट इज अपलाइड वट हैपन्स द टिश्यूज विल नॉट बी सर्कुलेटेड विद ब्लड एंड दिस टिश्यू विल बी नेक्रोटाइज सो टू अवॉइड दिस वी शुड नॉट अप्लाई टॉर्निक एंड वी शुड यूज आइस अप्लीकेशन टू रिलीव पेन दैट्स इट्स ओके सो इफ पेशेंट इज हैविंग अग्रीवेटेड सिम्टम्स इन होम we have to keep applying the uh, ice ice pack and slowly we have to immediately we have to take the patient to the hospital okay once patient is reached to the hospital in the hospital we have to check patient's respiratory rate spo2 we have to check patient's blood pressure we have to check patient's sugar level okay and we have to we also should have to check patient's uh, mri scan brain mri brain mri also should be done so if anybody has changes in this following parameters respiratory respiratory rate may be changed oxygen supply i mean spo2 will be decreased if spo2 is less than 90 immediately start oxygen therapy okay because this is very important oxygen therapy oxygen therapy ke sath if patient has shortness of breath patient ko agar shortness of breath hai we can go with beta 2 agonist also beta 2 agonist beta 2 agonist mein kya hai salbutamol salmetrol along with this inhaled corticosteroids also suggested inhaled corticosteroids also suggested if patient has severe shortness of breath okay with or without beta agonist we have to give oxygen supply and if patient's blood pressure is very high anyways blood pressure to badega so in elevated blood pressures we have to decrease the blood pressure blood pressure kam karne ke liye yahan pe what treatment we have to give yaad rakh lo sab log for blood pressure we have calcium channel blocker and alpha 1 blocker very very important antiductal therapy for uh, scorpion sting स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग में पेशेंट विल हैव ब्लड प्रेशर नो पेशेंट विल हैव हाइपर टेंशन सो फॉर हाइपर टेंशन वॉट ड्रग्स शुड भी गिवन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर इन कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर ऑलवेज गिव निफी डिपिन निफी डिपिन निफी डिपिन टेन टू ट्वेंटी एम जी एडल्ट डोज टेन टू ट्वेंटी एम जी शुड भी गिवेन आइदर थ्रू सब लिंगवल रूट एक्चुअली निफी डिपिन सब लिंगवल रूट में भी आता पाउडर फार्म में भी आता टैबलेट फार्म में भी आता दिस निफी डिपिन शुड भी गिवेन आइदर थ्रू सब लिंगवल रूट फॉर इमीडिएट एक्शन और थ्रू वर्ल्ड रूट स्वेलो कैन गिव निफी डिपिन कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर एंड अल्फा ब्लॉकर याद रख लो प्राजोसिन 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 इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग इन स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग के अंदर ड्रग्स स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग के अंदर ड्रग्स वी हैव टू ड्रग्स फॉर हाइपर टेंशन वन इज निफिडिपिन टेन टू ट्वेंटी एम जी एंड वन इज अल्फा वन ब्लॉकर दैट इज प्राजोसिन एंड सी इन प्राजोसिन याद रख लो सब लोग फाइव हंड्रेड एम सी जी फाइव हंड्रेड माइक्रोग्राम्स of prazosin should be given in adult and this 500 mcg should be given every 4 hours in adults and if any if patient is child 250 mcg 250 mcg should be given for every 4 hours till the symptom is decreased clear ye cheez yaad rakh lo sab log very very important clinical point in hospital we have to check patients spo2 spo2 kam hai shortness of breath hai to go with oxygen and uh, bronchodilators ओके एंड इफ पेशेंट हैज हाइपरटेंशन फॉर हाइपरटेंशन वी हैव टू गो विद कैल्शियम ब्लॉकर निफिडिपिन 10 टू 20 एमजी एंड अल्फा वन ब्लॉकर प्राजोसिन 500 एमसीजी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ओके एंड वन मोर पॉइंट देखो व्हेन पेशेंट इज एडमिटेड इन द हॉस्पिटल इमीडिएटली व्हाट मोस्ट हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स दे डू दे विल स्टार्ट नॉर्मल सलाइन सो इन दिस केस इन दिस केस शुड वी स्टार्ट विथ नॉर्मल सलाइन और नॉट लेट मी सी हाउ मेनी विल आंसर In this case, 
शुड वी स्टार्ट विथ नॉर्मल सलाइन और नॉट रिहाइड्रेशन थेरेपी करना या नहीं very good very good already patient is having pulmonary edema so in this case again rehydration is not necessary agar ye diye to fir problem ho jayega hypertension hai patient ko already aldosterone is elevated already water is retained already water is more in the body so normal saline is strictly contraindicated in scorpion sting this one you have to remember okay so if patient has severe rashes on the body we can go with one antihistamine also antihistamine ek de sakte hain and if patient has for pain purpose we can go with paracetamol or morphine ek paracetamol de sakte ek morphine de sakte one dose or two doses of paracetamol and morphine can be given and uh, agar shortness of breath bahut zyada hai if patient is unable to control with oxygen therapy and with uh, bronchodilators bronchodilators diye to bhi agar nahi hua to mechanical mechanical ventilation can be done to to increase the spo2 levels okay so this is another uh, strategy you can follow in the hospital okay so these are important points about scorpion sting i think you all understood the management of scorpion sting scorpion sting ke clinical features and scorpion sting ke management okay in management always remember in management we have especially we have see if patient has hyperglycemia 1.8 forward if patient has elevated glucose levels here we can go with insulin one if patient has respiratory functions respiratory dysfunctions we can go with uh, bronchodilators and or oxygen supply okay this one is done and next if patient has hypertension hypertension to raiga compulsory in this case we have to go with alpha 1 blocker especially here we have prazosin and we have calcium channel blocker nifedipine what is nifedipine in calcium channel blockers we have non dihydropyridines and dihydropyridines in non dihydropyridines we have virapamil and diltiazem virapamil and diltiazem and in dihydropyridines what we have all dipins amlodipine felodipine nifedipine okay so here nifedipine should be choose because nifedipine has a very rapid onset of action okay so nifedipine is suggested in scorpion sting condition nifedipine 10 to 20 mg okay so here virapamil and this should not be given because patient ko already acetylcholine jyada hai to bradycardia bhi ho sakta hai bradycardia also can be seen so these drugs are not suggested and patient sometimes patient will have uh, inappropriate heart contractions also congestive heart failure bhi ho sakta hai so in that case we should not go with these drugs prazosin is important and what other drugs we have so these are important things drugs mein ye ye yaad rakh lo and one uh, antihistamine can be given antihistamine can be given and if pain is more we can go with paracetamol or morphine paracetamol or morphine so these are important uh, points we have to remember for treatment now let me ask you one question for scorpion sting do we have antivenom like in snake bite in snake bite we have anti snake venom anti snake venom asv this anti snake venom is effective for all kinds of snake bites same like snake bites for scorpion bite do we have any any uh, antidote do we have any anti venom anti venom do we have any anti venom do you know or not see for scorpion bite we have anti venom but the anti venom is not as famous as anti snake venom let me repeat the point scorpion stings has anti venom but this anti venom of scorpion sting is not as famous as anti snake venom and the anti venom of scorpion sting is nothing but this anti venom is obtained from goat serum goat serum ke andar se this anti anti venom is obtained this anti venom is obtained and this anti venom has some drawbacks this anti venom has some drawbacks what are those drawbacks it is it it itself it is having some allergic reactions allergic reactions and it causes angioedema it causes rashes already scorpion bite may these symptoms we have if good uh, anti venom is given what happens it may aggravate the conditions so so to overcome this 
symptoms we are not suggesting anti scorpion venom for the general population okay so this point we have to remember. but if 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 situation demands if pharmacotherapy or whatever therapy strategies we use if that is not working in that case compulsory we have to go with anti scorpion venom anti venom okay this point you should remember and finally as i was telling if anybody has cns सिम्टम्स सीने सिम्टम्स से पेशेंट को क्या हो सकता है कन्वर्जेंस आ सकता है कन्वर्जेंस आ सकता है सो फॉर कन्वर्जेंस वी कैन गो विथ बेंजो डायजिपिन डायजिपम डायजिपम कैन बी गिवेन टू डिक्रीज द कन्वर्जेंस इफ पेशेंट डेवलप्स ओके सो आई थिंक वी हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द पॉइंट्स ऑल द पॉइंट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर स्कॉर्पियन स्टिंग क्लियर एवरीबडी